Hi, and welcome to this briefing on roundabouts. This, um, the briefing's on roundabouts because a little bit complex, a bit involved. I've decided to split them into two parts. The first part, if you like, would be procedures. Now, procedures means which lane to be in on the approach, um, when to signal, when not to signal, uh, which lane to be on the roundabout and leaving. The other part of the briefing, uh, another, um, another presentation, that's more on forward observation, which means um, looking when to go, when not to go, getting round the roundabout. So we'll start with um, the procedures first. Now you'll notice that I've marked up the lanes. This is the outside lane. This is the inside lane, because it does cause some confusion. And on the roundabout, this is the inside lane, and that's the outside lane. I think most people I talk to understand that being the inside lane and the outside lane, the roundabout. On the approach, this one is the outside lane. I think you can see how the confusion could come if you've got, got them muddled up, which is the inside and the outside lane. So we'll just <clears throat> talk about that first. So on my whiteboard, um, you'll just see that I've got it marked exit one, exit two, exit three. Now you know there's more, there are more complex roundabouts than this that's got multiple exits, but we'll just deal with a simple roundabout with four exits. Yes, there are more complications, but we'll just deal with this first. So we're approaching from here, and let's just say, for argument's sake, we're going to go left, take the first exit. Fine. So I'll just ask you, or I'll put it out there, I think this is pretty obvious, I'm still going to ask you, if you're going to take the first exit, which lane you're going to be in and what signalling is required? Well, I think it's pretty obvious that you keep in the inside lane, the left lane, or lane one, that's how you want to say it. So inside lane, left lane, lane one, all the same place, and you signal left on the approach, and when it's clear, round you go, keep your signal going till you exit. I think that's pretty clear, really. Um, let's just talk about turning right, third exit. So I'll ask you again, I'll just let you give you a moment to think about it. You're going to turn right, third exit, exit one, exit two, exit three. So which lane do you approach in? If we've got two lanes on the approach, we'll be looking at three lanes uh, once we've covered the two lane approach and the markings. So we're approaching here, we're going to turn right, which lane should you be in? What would your signaling be on the approach? Okay. So if you're going to turn right, you should be in the right-hand lane and then keep your right signal on, on the approach to the roundabout. Try and imagine the indicator running as you come up the right signal. We're not dealing on this briefing with looking and going and stopping. We're just dealing with procedures. So you've got your right signal on. Because you're going right, you hug the roundabout, that's my expression. You hug the roundabout, in other words, on the inside lane. So you hug the roundabout, round you go, and when you're clearing exit two, or the exit just before your roundabout, you signal left to leave. So your left signal on, I can't show it, but left signal on, and then you leave in the left lane. Is that okay? Fine. There's a little bit more uh, I just want to cover here. So when you leave a roundabout, uh, you say you've got two lanes going off, which is not unusual. Generally speaking, which lane should you leave in? Lane one, left lane, or lane two? Now, a lot of my students, quite a few, will wonder if they should leave in lane two, the outside lane. I think their reasoning is that they're a bit worried about vehicles coming up on the, from this exit here or this entrance and leaving here. So they're a little bit worried about leaving 
in lane one of the left lane. You should aim to leave in that lane. There shouldn't really be anybody coming up on your inside to block you because you're on the roundabout and they should be waiting. So it says left signal to leave. There's an expression in driving, left is best. So this is the least line of resistance. You could use this lane. Um, from a learning perspective, it's a little bit tricky because if you do use this lane, more often than not, you've got to come back in. Life gets complicated. So just leave in this lane. Unofficially, unofficial, but the type of driver is going to use the outside lane to leave is the faster driver, the quicker driver. So really, you don't want to be there. You want to be in this left-hand lane. Unless, of course, you know you need to turn right further down than you pick up this lane. From a test perspective, a driving examiner, if they're giving you directions, will tell you to leave in the outside lane if they want to. That's, that's up to them. But if they don't, left is best, least line of resistance. So that's turning right, not quite finished with turning right, because you'll see on my diagram, not going to reach all the way across, but if it's as on the whiteboard, you've got two lanes on the approach, what you should do is to get into this from the inside lane to the outside lane, I mean off the whiteboard, way back. So imagine you're approaching off the whiteboard, you'd mirror, check your right mirror, give a right signal and get into the outside lane because it's two-stage manoeuvre. So if it was two lanes on the approach, you check your right mirror, give your right signal. If it's safe, go across, of course, and then you would cancel your signal. And when you get nearer to the roundabout, you put a right signal on. So what I'm saying is it's a two-stage manoeuvre. It's one to get into the right-hand lane or the outside lane, then cancel it once you're in that lane. And then when you get closer, then you mirror right signal again. So it's in two stages and then you go round. Fine. <clears throat> I find if there is any confusion with my students about which lane to be in and signalling, more often than not, it's, it's going straight ahead, taking the exit two, the second exit. So I'll give you a moment and I'll just say, what do you think you would do on the approach, which lane to be in? Um, any signalling on the roundabout and leaving. At this stage, I will say to you, you know from your experience that a lot of people don't bother signalling. Um, <clears throat> yeah, it's a bit annoying and you kind of have to work out where you're going. It does, my advice to you is do signal. Please be one of those people who does signal when it's necessary. If there's nobody around, yeah, I understand. You don't need, it's dead. You don't need to signal. When it's busy, it's just, Nice, not a lot of effort to signal. Anyway, so you're going to go straight ahead. What would you do on the approach? Which lane? What would you do? So this is what you really should do. So you'll see on the markings here, we can go ahead in either lane. But my advice to you is go straight ahead, no signal, keep in the left. Remember, left is best, least line of resistance. So no signal, if it's clear, you keep in the outside lane with still no signal, because if you signal left or right at this stage, and you shouldn't, but if you did, people are, if you're signaling left, they think you're going to leave here. If you're signaling right, then they think you're going to go all the way around here and leave. So no signal. Keep in this lane, and when you clear the egg, just clearing the egg, don't signal too early, but when you're just clearing the exit before yours, that's when you slap your left indicator on to leave here. So you signal there, fine. Now I've asked people, I mean, I'm asking you, but obviously it's a bit difficult because you're, you're watching um, at a distance. Uh, but my students, I say, I ask them to tell me, and some people say, oh, look, I can go straight ahead in that lane and then up here and then signal and leave. So no signal and then they're keeping this inside lane the roundabout then they signal and then they leave now that's not wrong there's nothing wrong with that whatsoever because the road markings allow you to do it so it's not wrong um, but I wouldn't advise it and I'll explain why I wouldn't advise doing that because if you go in this lane 
you've then got to come to the middle or hug the roundabout and then you've got to possibly cross traffic and come back again it gets a bit complicated so um you'll are you listen a lot of us what qualified drivers we do use that lane we'll go across instead of this lane because we find it quicker um, and sometimes this lane the uh, inside lane gets a bit blocked but i'm saying to you from a learning perspective it's easier and simpler just least line resistance keep in the left lane and go around as i said before this lane here the outside lane unofficially is for the faster drivers so in the future i'm sure you'll go in that lane but for the time being just keep it simple and keep in that lane so um, that's covered first exit left and then right so what i'm going to do now <clears throat> is i'm going to add some more lanes in. i'm going to make this into three lanes instead of two and obviously on the roundabout i'm going to make three lanes as well and then we'll just go through that and put various markings on because it can be a little bit confusing okay so um i'll do that now and then we'll carry on okay, now <clears throat> what i should also I've, you can see i've turned um our roundabout into three lanes on the approach and three lanes on the roundabout but what i should have said to you as well be guided by the road markings when it was two lanes or three doesn't matter how many lanes it is be guided by the markings. so if it was a two lane approach instead of three i should have said if it's clearly marked that's a left hand lane only designated lane then i think it's pretty obvious that's the lane you go ahead and then it's marked so be guided by the markings which is where we we um pick up with the three lanes so i will ask you so we've got this layout here where we have three lanes so if we're going to go left we've got it quite clearly this is a left hand uh, lane so you keep in the left lane signal left on the approach when it's clear round you go keep your left signal on and leave so i think that's pretty obvious um, sometimes it's all right say be guided by the road markings you can't always see them what i mean is when you can't see them sometimes the, there are other vehicles queuing on them it's a bit busy so the only time you see the markings is where you arrive at the mouth of the roundabout and then um, you could be in the wrong lane it happens to everybody it's all right if you live in an area where you've got you know the markings even as a passenger you know where they are if you're in a motorbike or a push bike you know where they are and sometimes the um you'll get on the approach you'll get a road sign that will clearly tell you which lane to be in so that's quite helpful if you can see that on the approach that that road sign that just tells you on the approach you don't always get them um, but as i said if you're local it's fine you know where you're going okay so um, what we'll do now is we'll just go back to the whiteboard well we haven't gone away from it really have we <laughs> we'll come back to the whiteboard um, so i'll just put it to you you're you're watching um, i'll ask you what you think you should do now some of you might think oh that's obvious what you do so if you're going straight ahead second exit you've got three lanes on the approach two lanes coming off say single or two lanes coming off what you're going to do on the uh, which lane you're going to be in on the approach to the roundabout and signaling so you're going straight ahead which lane signaling on the approach on the roundabout and leaving right so the best thing to do on this case in this instance is to be in the middle lane no signal so you're in the middle lane you okay you can go ahead in that lane or this lane it's fine but i'm just going to advise you to keep it simple least line resistance in this case it means middle lane no signal whatsoever into this lane here this lane here is a designated lane the first exit so really shouldn't be anybody from here coming on your inside it does happen people who get a little bit muddled up can be in this lane or some people who get a bit impatient yep they could cut through but uh, 
the best thing to do is to be in the middle lane, no signal until you clear the exit before. Then you signal left to leave, could be two lanes off or one. If it's two lanes, keep in the left hand lane. Fine. Um, as in earlier, what I mean as in earlier, you could go in this lane to go straight ahead. In this lane, you could actually, it's not marked, but you could turn right or straight ahead. Many people do it, it's fine. But again, my advice to you is not to go in this lane because as before, arguably for the faster traffic, again, in the future, there's nothing wrong with using it. But for training purposes, just keep it nice and simple here because this is arguably for the people who get a bit of a move on. Fine, let's just change the markings here. So what we've got is right only and ahead and this one here is ahead. So we've got two ahead arrows and I'll just move my little magnetic car over here. Two ahead arrows and I'll change this more into a right only lane. Why not? That's probably a bit more realistic. So that's a right only. I'm going to go straight ahead. You're approaching. Which lane should you approach in, signalling, etc.? So, some of you probably worked it out, but as you approach in this lane, no signal. Again, you have two ahead arrows. You know what I'm going to say? It's better to be in the left hand lane. You can actually go left in this lane as well. So, it's better. We're back to scenario one where we had two lanes. So, keep in the left. No signal, round you go, as you clear here, left signal on to leave. That's the best thing to do. Um, that's just being guided by the road markings. Fine. Let's just put in one more um, scenario. So that's, that's dealt with going straight ahead and following the road markings. Okay, it is possible and not unusual to have dedicated lane right, lane three if you like, lane one is a dedicated lane left. So if you want to go straight ahead on this, in this instance with these road markings, really process of elimination, it's this lane for head into the middle of the roundabout, like a railway track really, all the way around, signal left to leave. That's if it's these markings, right only, dedicated lane right, dedicated lane left, straight ahead. I think the only thing to cover is principles. Now you think, okay, I'll just explain what I mean. With a, a bit more confusing roundabout, let me explain what I mean. So, I'll get rid of that, I want that. So here we are, this is the uh, road sign, say. And you're approaching from here. That's exit one, two, exit three, exit four, exit five, and exit six. So we're approaching from here. Now, we'll call this, from the clock perspective, the face of a clock, that's 12 o'clock straight ahead. There is no exit at 12 o'clock. Now, if you're going to take any exit past 12 o'clock on the approach, so if you're going to take four, five or six, you should signal right on the approach because anything past 12 o'clock means a right signal generally. So let's follow the logic through. So you're taking exit five. Right signal on the approach. Leave your right signal running until you've cleared exit four, then left signal to leave. So if you're going to take exit six, you'd right signal on the approach all the way around, past five, signal left to leave at six. Now, I'll just put that, put it out here now. So which is the only exit you're going to signal left on on the approach? There's only one exit you're going to signal left on, and that is, lay, is the first exit. So left signal on the approach if you're taking one. So. If you're going to take exit three on the approach, what would your signalling be? Just your signalling. 
So if you're taking exit three, no signal. Clear exit two, just as you're clearing exit two, left signal to leave on exit three. So that's just where you get a little bit more complicated. Now, if the markings are quite obvious, you don't need to signal so much, which doesn't, doesn't really explain it well, I know. So on the approach, let's just say you've got all these markings on the approach, up to the, up to the uh, roundabout. So when you come up to the roundabout, and let's just put these as giveaway lines rather than stop, shall we? Just say this, this lane here says lane five, they're all marked up. Just say that's lane, or ex, sorry, exit five. I'll make that a little bit neater because that's not very nice. So that's exit five here. So if it's clearly marked on the approach, and it can be quite intimidating, it, it's all right when you've been around that roundabout three or four times, but the first time you come to it, it can be a bit confusing. So if it's marked up clearly, you do not put a right signal on you just stay in your track, like a railway track, and it will guide you all the way round, and then at some stage, you'll signal left to leave, checking your mirror, getting across. Yes, it's a little bit complicated, and it's all right for people who know, but when it's multiple lanes on there, try and get in your correct lane. I do know they can switch when you're leaving, and sometimes you've got to check your mirror, and it can be a bit scary for anybody. Anybody can be a bit scary. If you know the, the layout, then it's fine. So that's a briefing on procedures, which lane to be in, which lane not to be in, advice, best lanes to, to stick in rather than complicate things. Uh, it's, it's all right when you know um, the procedures. And also, it's all right when you can remember where you're going. Because I know with some of my students, I'll say to them, oh, the roundabout, we're going to take the first exit. And because of panic, they can't remember where they're going because everything goes out the window. So it's trying to remember where, you, I know it sounds obvious, which lane you're going at the roundabout. I, I always remind my students on the approach, I'll say, oh, we're going to go left. Then I'll say to them, not right at the roundabout, a little bit close, oh, where are we going at the roundabout? So oh, we're going left. Because I know it's possible to panic and forget where you're going. If you forget where you're going, then obviously very difficult. When you're driving and you pass your test and you know where you're going, so much easier because you've done the route so often. You know where, where you're going to go, so you pick up the, the correct lane and that's easier. First time round, it can be quite intimidating. So there we go. That's the um, procedures on a roundabout. I hope that's answered possibly some of the questions you've got um, and then you, that makes things a lot, lot clearer. Thank you.